If you got nothing to do, well I've got a couple of tricks for you. So take a look at these vids, cause it's life hacks for kids. Hi, I'm Sunny, and today's episode is Trollmendous Troll Hacks. It's troll time! My sister Gidget and I are literally counting down the minutes until we go see the movie. Is it time yet? Not yet, but it's getting pretty close, Gidget. Who's Gidget? I'm Poppy. Bye, Branch! Okay. Bye, Poppy. Let's make time fly with some trendy troll hacks. I'll start with one of Gidget's favorite movie characters, Poppy. I'll call it Poppy's Pop-Up Scrapbook Box. For this, you'll need different colored cardstock sheet squares, I made mine about eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches. Scissors, a ruler, a marker, a pencil, a glue stick, hot glue, photos, and colorful paper. First make two horizontal lines to divide the paper into thirds. Then make two vertical lines to do the same thing. Cut out each corner edge square, leaving a plus shape. Repeat this two more times on two different colors of paper. Fold the edges up on each plus. Glue the center of each plus shape together. Glue on the pictures to each square. Next, use the plus as a guide to make a box shape on a new piece of paper. Now pinch and fold the corners in to make the box sides. Hot glue the corners together. Trim the top to make it even if you need to. This is the bottom of the box. Decorate it. Use this bottom to measure and create the lid. Make sure the lid is slightly bigger than the box. Trim the edges shorter for the lid and decorate. A scrapbook in a box. Eye popping. Did you say poppy? No, I said popping. Well, I'm popping out of here. Bye, Grant. Okay. In the Trolls movie, Poppy carries around pictures of her buddies in a special frame. So, I'm hacking my own version, the folding friendship frame. For this, you'll need white thin cardboard, scissors, hot glue, colorful paper, photos, a hole punch, and twine. Cut out a long rectangle out of the cardboard. Then, fold it back and forth into small equal sections. Next, cut two small rectangles out of the colorful paper and glue onto each of the ends of the folded cardboard. Punch a hole into the center side edge of the front piece and into the back piece. Glue the pictures to each empty folded square. Finally, tie the twine through the holes and around the folded frame to close. Now I can keep my friends with me wherever I go. Did you say it's time to go? <sighs> time for that final troll hack. The trolls wear special hug time friendship bracelets, so let's hack our own special troll jewelry. My hack time hug it out medallion. For this, you'll need an old necklace, Mod Podge, 
scissors, a brush, an old medallion, hot glue, glitter, ribbon, and a cereal box. I'm using my mom's old necklace that the stone fell out of. Paint a layer of Mod Podge onto the center of the necklace. Then, sprinkle glitter. After it dries, paint another layer of Mod Podge over the glitter and set aside. Next, cut out a large rectangle from a cereal box. Roll the rectangle into a tube shape and hot glue the edge. Then fold the sides inward to close like this. Finally, place the necklace on an old chain and put it inside the box. Tie a pretty ribbon around it to finish it off. Poppy! Is it hug it? Not quite, but it is hug it out time. liked making these trollmendous troll hacks. Thanks for watching friends. See you next time on Life Hacks for Kids. Remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV and click here for more Life Hacks for Kids. Don't forget to see Trolls in Theaters on November 4th. First, we get to the edge of Bergentown without being spotted. Hold on a second, are you scrapbooking my plan? Uh-huh, yeah. Almost done.